Hello everyone, and best wishes to all of us. The honorable tourists on this occasion, we proudly present our project in the Indonesian Science Project Olympiad 2021. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Tobiko is one of the superior communities in Indonesia with its high amount of production that reached over 195,000 tons in 2018. In addition, the amount of tobacco export reached over 11,000 tons in the same period. However, tons of tobacco in Indonesia are damaged and make many farmers suffer. Pests are the main factor of tobacco damaging, such as Spodoptera litura, Mises persicae zoos, Acratis ypsilon, Thrips parvis minus, Xylotapa africana, Pemisia tabaci, and Helicoferpa armigera. These pests attack the whole part of tobacco plant from vegetative until post production phases. To tackle this problem, farmers have been spraying synthetic insecticide, but this way is very dangerous for our health and, and our environment. environment. And to overcome these problems, we need green technology to prevent pest attack, increase tobacco productivity, and to make a better environment. We are the young scientists from MPSN1 Kota Malang, proudly presenting our innovation entitled Investor 1.0, innovating pest tractor to increase productivity of tobacco as superior commodity in Indonesia. I'm Salwa Dilana and my partner, Fasha Fahira. We are mentored by Mr. Teguh Dewanga. The honorable juries in this research we formulate research objectives such as first to determine the past morphologies that attack tobacco and to prevent them through eco-friendly ways. Second, to create a tobacco pass drug that works automatically according to several past morphology. And last is to determine the advantages of the tobacco pass traps compared to previous technologies or researches. This research uses the NDIE method with five main steps consisting of analysis design, development, implementation, and evaluation. We use this method to minimize errors by evaluating every step, and it is very suitable for development technology. We conduct this research from November 10, 2020 to last January 2021 in our house and science laboratory of MTSN1 Kota Malang with a strict health protocol amid the COVID-19 pandemic. These are our primary materials that we use. The honorable juries at the analysis stage, we analyze morphology, especially the active period and interest of tobacco pests. We use some journals to get valid information. We divide the pests into two types, which are active at night and daylight. Nocturnal pests, such as Grillotopa africana, is attracted to warm white light. Helicopter barbigera is attracted to UV light. And Spodoptera litura is attracted to foliage green light. According to African Wall Cricket, Bako and Tandia Bank, and Sink and Saxena. We will use LED lights that match this color and trap them with glue. Meanwhile, according to Mount Erdiansha et al. and Wande and Manike, daylight paths such as Pemisia tabachi, Mises persicae zools, and Trips purpis pinus are attracted to the yellow color. In the other hand, Greener et al. say that Ecrotis ypsilon is attracted to the essential smell of tobacco. So, we trap them using yellow tubes and to mix with essential oil. In the design stage, we created a device that can trap seven past with different morphologies at once. We make the device more portable and automatic using the LDR sensor, so the light turns on at night. Our device uses a renewable energy source from solar cells. In the development stage, we analyze the drawbacks of 10 previous researchers or technologies. The features contained in those innovations were incomplete. So, we made a better device using independent energy from solar panels, portable and adapted to seven topical pass morphologies. Investor 1.0 is also more safety than previous technologies because it uses a closed circuit and waterproof materials. In the implementation stage, we calculate the electrical energy requirements as much as 315 watt hour per day of energy to activate the lamp for 6.2 hours. So, we need 70 watt big solar cells to supply the energy. We also do a glue drying observation. It showed that the glue can trap pests and doesn't dry out on the first day until 10 day with heavy rain and wet condition. Our glue mixture contains HMDI, HTPP, and TPTL, which according to Gupta et al. It can survive in the open air for 9 months. So, farmers don't need to worry that the glue will dry quickly. In the last stage, we evaluate several aspects. 
First, Impactor works effectively and can trap a large number of pests compared to 10 previous innovations. Second, made from water resistant materials and can be used for 6.2 hours. This time is enough to attract pests at night. Third, Impactor can trap pests widely on acrylic and tube surface. Fourth, made as portable device, easy to assemble, also safe. The weight is about 6 kilograms only. Overall, this device is functional, useful, effective, automatic, and eco-friendly by replacing synthetic insecticide in its use. The honorable juries, the working principle of our device is very simple. During the day, Bamisia, Mizu, Strips, and Acrylis will come to our device. Those are attracted by the yellow tube and will trap on the surface, which applied by glue and essential oil. At night, the LDR sensor will change the resistance, and the Arduino will turn on LED light. Nocturnal pests like Rilla Talpa, Helicopter Pa, and Spodoptera will approach their interesting color respectively. These pests will be trapped by glue on the acrylic surface. The application of glue is very easy, as in the following video. Farmers only need to cover the tube and acrylic surface with plastic wrap, then apply it with glue. If the tube and acrylic surface is already full with past, the former can simply remove the plastic wrap and replace it. Based on that result, we get some conclusion. First, we successfully determine the past morphologies through a scientific approach and prevent them in eco-friendly ways. Second, in Pastor 1.0 can work automatically and compatible with the past morphologies. And the last, the feature of Impastor is better than 10 to previous technology or research. For further research, we suggest taking factual data to determine the effectiveness of Impastor 1.0 in the topical field as a real condition. This is the last of our presentation, and there are our documentation. Thank you for your kind attention. Impastor, innovation for topical farmers. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.